So the B and B bash play drama continues. It's pretty bloody tight on the casing, and it keeps vibrating. The uh, you can see that I can bend that with my fingers. So I don't know how that's supposed to stop damaging your casing in the event of an off. So I'm not overly impressed by that. It's just a single fold. It's got nothing. If it had a stiffener there or something, it might help. But this is, um, you can see there how tight it is against the casing. It's, um, so I'm going to take it off. Yeah, I'm going to replace it with something else. And um, here's the something else. So let me unwrap it and uh, I'll show you what I've got. So there you are. Suzuki standard bash play. <laughs> I, should, I, should, I should have got that fitted when uh, I got the bike rather than deciding to go the other one. And you can see there how it's got better stiffeners at the side so it's harder to bend in. So I'm going to fit this now and uh, get rid of that B&B &B one. I'm not overly impressed by that actually. And um, I'll let you know how it goes. Now to get the the B and B one off, you have to take these brackets off, these mountain brackets. And interestingly, here's another example of Suzuki lack of lubrication. This is a relatively new bike, and it's already got signs of corrosion because there's no lubrication at all. It's just dry. So what I'm going to do is I'll give this a quick wire brush, apply some uh, copper grease and put it back in and hopefully that will keep it protected a little bit. Now that's a little bit sneaky. When Suzuki delivers this, the plate is bolted to these back holes here, but it actually fits in the front holes. So of course you put it on the wrong, the wrong way around when you first fit it. Bloody sneaky Suzuki there. Anyway, it goes it goes on that mountain post there, not the bolt, not the nut side. So it goes on the bolt side, and it goes to the front of the bolts, and then it fits the front holes. So that's a little bit sneaky and a little bit of a checker's trap that, but that looks like it properly fits there, and the holes now line up. So this bar at the back here of the plate. I'm not sure that's just a strengthening plate, I think it's not actually a mounting plate. So there's a little bit of a secret. Goes on the bolt end and it points to the front. Right, let's get it torqued up. It's 65 Newton meters, um, 10 mil nut. So let's get this tightened up. 65 Newton meters is a lot, so don't be scared to tighten it up. Right, there it's all fitted. Uh, the B&B &B one does give a little bit more protection to your um, oil filter housing but that means you don't have to take your bash plate off to reach your oil filter so I don't know pros and cons that fits pretty well quite pleased with that and round the other side the, uh, there's plenty of room now under the the bash plate in between the uh, bash plate and the and the housing, alternator housing. So I'm quite pleased with that. Um, the B&B &B one, I did like the looks of it, but the Suzuki standard one looks like it does the job pretty well. So that'll do for now. Thanks for watching.